In this video I will make a tutorial with PySide. Before that you have to install PySide to your terminal first. And for automatic reloading you have to use no daemon to reload the application in Python later. After that you can open your favorite text editor and create a file with the Python extension. After that we need to import some modules for PySide. And to set the width and height of our application screen, we also need the QSize module. And here we create a Python class which contains widgets such as labels, text fields, buttons, and others. First we first create a title in our application, which will be listed at the top. And I'm going to create a simple label, this label is text. And later you can change the size of the text, both thickness and size. And after that I will display the label text into the application window. And after that you have to call Caplication and import your class. And once everything is done, let's run our first application. I already have a Python file in there. And how to run it so that it automatically reloads when saved. And there seems to be a little error there. It looks like Qlabel made the wrong variable call. Okay, let's run again. And our simple application, too, runs well. However, I want it to be the size of the width and height of the window. We can arrange according to taste. We need to import Q size here. And the values are in the form of the X axis and the Y axis. And the size of the window has been adjusted to the size we want. We can change the style of the label that we create. Like using CSS in HTML usually. You can change the shape like the color and size of the text. and automatically reload. The label has also changed color, according to what we want. Yes, that's what the first Hello World application that we just made looks like. We will learn more later. Let's try to make a button and bring it into our application.
and after that you have to enter the variable button that you just created into the central widget. And you can add your logic to your button. I gave an example to do a simple print on my terminal. And after that, you can create a separate function, with the name of your newly created variable. And you save again. There seems to be no error there. Then let's try and have a look in your terminal. Okay, looks like that's enough for a simple tutorial. We'll try something else later. Thank you for watching.